Hey, how are you? My name is Max Nosleeves, and today I'm going to do a quick story time. I'm going to do a quick jam about how I got a little blowy. <laughs> Now when I say blowy, I mean blow job. You know, I roll sex, head jammers, slobber knockers, wax in the candlestick, you know what I mean? I don't really know what that means. Typically when I'm in a tight spot, I just make up a sex term. How do you make up a sex term? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's what you do. You take a body part, and you combine it with a physical action. Bam, sex term. Hey, so what happened with that little cutie pie you met at the bar last week? Oh, it was great. She gave me a little forearm push-up. You mean she tuned your kneecaps? Oh yeah, she licked my teeth. She tickled your elbow? Simpsons reference. She squeaked my earlobe. She jerked your dick. Jerk your dick? That's not a metaphor. Oh, you don't know that one? That's when you stand in front of a mirror with your arms behind your back and she brushes your teeth for you. So anyway, this girl, back to the point. She was so super hot. She had, she had eyes, she had arms, she was on the soccer team. I mean, talk about your classic Hot girl. Babe alert! And to save my life, I don't understand at all why she was into me. I mean, I knew why she was into me, I just didn't understand it. Oh yeah! Back up, back up two steps. When I was in high school, not a lot of girls were, as you say, into me. Let's just say, like, very few girls. I mean, like, if we're gonna put a number on it, let's just call it, I don't know, zero. We'll, we'll call it zero. I mean, that's life. I was the kind of guy who had, like, five t-shirts and wore them in rotation for every day of the week. Hey, man, do you know what day it is? Oh, hold on, uh, Max is wearing his Patriots t-shirt. Must be Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh, I got an English test. All right, I gotta go. I, whoa, hey. What's that, pretty? I wasn't super cool. So then one day, this girl, different girl. Let's call her, I don't know, Carly. Oh no, wait, I can't call her Carly. That was her real name. Uh, Gwen Stacy, Pepper Potts, Mary Jane. The hell are we gonna call her? All right, so girl number one, we'll call her Goldie. So one day, Goldie started to think that I was pretty cool. Uh, and you know why? Because, and I shit you not, because I could do this. Quarter trick. True story. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand girls then. I don't understand girls now. <laughs> Whatever. But if any of you gals out there need a good quarter knuckling, which is especially funny because that's a horribly worded thing to say to a girl, foreshadowing. Oh, it's gone. So anyway, as it happens, Goldie took a real liking to your boy Max. And consequently, a different girl, uh, the hell's her name? <sighs> Iron Man? Captain America? What the hell are we going to call her? Uh, we'll call her Beth. Beth. So Goldie took a real liking to me because I could do the quarter thing. And I think Beth took a real liking to me because Goldie liked me. Oh, you like? Oh, okay. And I think that's pretty much it. It's kind of like when you're standing next to someone and they're eating an apple. Oh, what you got there? An apple? Yup. Yeah. Apple. I haven't wanted an apple in about four years. But if you don't give me that apple right now, I'm gonna rip your arms off. I need these! So long story short, I went from having zero girls liking me to having two girls liking me. Babe alert! Babe alert! And I honestly didn't know what to do because I thought they were both super cool. So I ended up doing what I would consider the noble thing. I just completely ignored both of them and hoped that they would talk and make up a decision between themselves. Which I think they did actually because one day Goldie was gone and Beth was like, what up? So flash to the weekend. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. I should go to the hospital. Hospital! Flash the real weekend, we go to a high school party. Our high school party consisted of us in a basement. Drinking beers in a basement. That's great! Me and Beth, they're doing what we normally do, which is silently make super awkward eye contact from across the room and never actually talk to each other. You know, like you do. Babe alert! Finally, it gets late enough in the evening and our friends have all blatantly made fun of us to our faces that we end up actually talking. <gasps> I know, right? Two people who like each other are actually having a conversation with each other and interacting. Who'd have thunk? So we start talking, and one thing leads to another, and we start smooching. Yep, I am an adult man, and I just used the term smooching. Babe alert! Anyway, we end up in a bedroom upstairs away from everybody else. I'm like, okay, man, and I'm pumped. The coffee's brewing, you know what I'm saying? The bagel's getting toasted, you know what I'm saying? If somebody's making fresh squeezed orange juice, you know what I'm saying? I'm just hungry for breakfast food. And right is about to really get her going. She gets a text message. Bloop, bloop. It's her friend from the party texting her downstairs. And what does her friend want? Her friend is giving her a ride home. And she's leaving right now. Babel! No! Stop! No. Inappropriate. So what did I do? <sighs> I started haggling. How about 10 more minutes? What's 10 more minutes? I mean, 10 minutes is nothing. You know, that's like one round of uh, Jimmy Crack Corn. How do you play Jimmy Crack Corn? I have no idea. All right, f five more minutes. You gotta put her mittens on. It's the middle of winter. I Maybe she lost her pants. I don't know. Hey, have you seen? Have you seen my? Have you seen my quarter trick? Huh? Oh shit! Like, what is it? And finally, she's like, "Yo, I gotta go. That's my ride. Do you have a car? No. Okay, I gotta go. See you next Tuesday." And I'm like, "All right, fine." So I'm lying on the bed. She's getting her jacket on. I said the one thing I could think of, the one appropriate thing, you know, the one classy thing. <clears throat> Can I get a little 
Sucky sucky. Oh, uh, please. Why did I think the term sucky sucky was appropriate? I have no idea. Had I ever used that term before? No. Have I ever used that term since? No, of course not. Not unless it's to make fun of myself. But yeah, can I get a little sucky sucky? I've never been more embarrassed in my life. I mean, it worked, but... So I guess the moral of the story is be nice, be polite, and when it comes to sex stuff, exact terminology is not as important as you may think. More about the intent, and how nice you are, and how nice the other person is, honestly. I mean, I guess that's the moral. That's kind of just what I've made up to justify this whole thing. Anyway... Sucky sucky. Oh, and just for the record, that Monday I came into school and all my friends were like, Hey Max, how was your weekend? Uh, yeah, I was, I was alright. Cool, cool, cool. Are you ready for English class? Yeah man, we got that big test today, right? No, that's actually on Tuesday, but uh, quick question. Do you need any... Sucky sucky? Yup. Apple. Oh yeah. Griff, uh, went ahead and told everybody how sweet it was that I had politely asked... for the sucky sucky. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max Nelson, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Oh, and can I get a little sucky sucky? On the real? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, whatever, everybody. I was in Mexico for the last week at the time of my life. A little VK. And it was awesome. Best food, best tequila, best beaches. But now I'm back, so let's get back to your regularly scheduled programming. Heads up. Hey, how are ya? Okay, okay, that's, that's good.